Hello again, everyone. I'm going to have another play with this. It is such, such a fabulous set. And I had such fun making the last one. So I thought I'd see what other bits and bobs I'd got that I could use. I've got some more tea bags all dried out. Um, and I looked on Craft Stash this morning and this set is sold out. Can't say I'm surprised. It is fabulous. But I've ordered some more of the 49 and Market ones as well. So there may be some more fun and games coming up. OK, what I thought I would like to do today, I've got my card cut, I've got my panel cut. What I would like to do is to see, I don't know if this is going to work, if I could cut the leaves out of tea bag with this stamp that onto here and then stick them onto that stamping then add maybe some other stuff over the top and I this time I've got a stencil which I didn't use the other day I've got this which is the paper towel that I pop the tea bags on to dry out so I thought if I separate this I might be able to do something on this, whether some stamping or a bit of die cutting or what. But this should react, I would have thought, as the napkin did in the last card that I made using this set. This one is obviously slightly deeper in colour, but I quite like the fact that it's got this embossing on as well. So that's that's kind of a bit of... <laughs> Dear. a bit of a thought so I've got tea bags I've got paper towel I've got a stencil I've got my die I've got I've looked out a bunch of stamps these are I think mainly from global land look there's all sorts of you know odds and ends there um I love this one I don't think that is global land actually but uh, that one I don't tend to do the whole thing I'll just grab grab it and, and stamp a little bit just using my fingers so I've got I have got some embossing powder I've got some luscious powder I have got um, embossing paste I've got my gold ink stamp and this time I've got ground espresso I looked through here this is my Distress Ink colour chart. I, I put this on my Facebook page the other day. Anybody who wants to take it printed and, and stamp their own colours. Um, I looked at it to see if there was any other colour way that I could go with that would kind of go with the, the base colour of, of tea bags. And I'm, I'm kind of drawn again to brown. Brown and gold. I... Maybe orange I could use, but that might be a bit much of a muchness with all of this sort of rusty colour from from the tea bags. So I'm going to stick with brown, brown and gold again, and just see what we what we come up with. One thing I did think of, I was thinking to myself, I've got some little dies that make that look like buttons. You know, you can just stamp um, die cut them, colour them, look like buttons. And I thought, oh, instead of buttons. How about a wax seal? And I looked in my box. These are ones that I've made in the past and not used. If I don't use them, I can just remelt them and make something else. But there were a couple that I thought the colour went really well. This one, this gold is, is a possibility, but it is a bit gaudy. But this one is, I think it's, I think it's an antique gold or what, I don't know. I'll, I'll, have, a, I'll have to do some more um, wax seals. But there's two of them, you see, and I could choose either one or both of those so I thought that might be a possibility to to pop on here as well I must get my wax little furnace out again because it that is great fun and I haven't done it for a long time found um, a stent um, what do you call this sentiment die that I haven't used before from paper rose just says thanks so I thought that might be a possibility as well so I think we'll just kind of get going let me put a few things out of the way if I can. I've got so little space here. It's a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a hindrance, really. So what, let me just see. I'll put that at the back. Those put in this little tray. Um, oh, 
Now then, I need to try and cut these out. Let me put my cutting mat here. I thought I could perhaps get two like that and then three from further down. Let's just see. I don't know if this is going to work out or not. No idea. But it, it's just something that kind of came to me and just one, I just have to try it really. Right. Right, there's my two. The trouble with this mat is that bits tend to stick into it. Let's hope I can get it out without too much damage. Perhaps I'll use just a regular a regular mat on the bottom. There we go. There's two of them. As I've cut those with this one, I'll, I'll cut the other ones with it as well. Just hope I can get them out. See, those just, just kind of fit in there, don't they? So let's just see. The next thing I was wondering about is to get the position right to put them onto the card base, onto the card panel, should I say, um, I thought I would need to stamp this outline. Um, but I don't know if that's going to be the one that's going to show or whether it's going to be just a guide or what. So let's just have a look at this. The, the lady that I saw using tea bags, she was making this great long roll. Her her channel is called 49 Dragonflies. I don't know what her name is. It doesn't seem to say what her name is. But she she does all this kind of mixed media -y stuff. Austrian lady, beautiful stuff. So let's just see. Now then, get those off there. Right. Now, if I want to have, let's put those on the magnet a minute. Um, let's get this. So what I don't want, don't know what to do is whether to. Um, let's put it that way up this time. As I said, do this and make it so that it might be the finish because these things I checked, and. They're, they're not far off the, off the size. They come just about to the edge. What I'm wondering is, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this in my stamp platform and keep that in there. So I'm going to stamp it as a guide to start with. And when it's dry, I can over stamp it and maybe emboss it in the same place over the top of that. So let me get my stamp platform. The old cogs are going round quite quickly this morning. Good gracious me. Right, let's just, I don't think I need my sticky mat. I'll put that over there. Pop this in here with a magnet or two. That one. Get another magnet. Oops, a daisy, there we go. Okay, if I put that in there, kind of like that. I think I'll just stamp it as a guide. So let me use Lost Shadow. I'll see if I can see it. I just, not sure. Right. Just about see that. This one is that one there. This one must be that one there.
I'm just wondering if I stick this with not sure what to do that kind of goes like that um, I cut that bit off I think I'm just wondering how, how, how I can attach them that won't attract embossing powder. That, that's what my mind's thinking of at the minute. It's how to how to attach them on here so that um, I'll cut that bit off as well. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put a bit of glue stick. I think I'm going to try that. Just a bit of glue stick over here. It's very difficult to see. I don't know if you can see it, but <laughs> I'm a bit of trouble myself. Let's just see. That little bit goes that way. Let's put that on there. Um, this one goes right. Let me move it over just a little bit. It's not quite in the right place. Out there. I haven't got it quite right. Perhaps I should have used a slightly deeper colour. And this chap goes on here. All of this because I want to get the gold embossing on the top. There isn't any under there. Right, now, I don't think it matters about the overlapping bits. I just can't cut one of them off. I think it's fine. Okay. Now I'm going to stamp it again with Versa mark, and if any odd bits stick, it doesn't matter. Don't think it matters. Don't think it's going to matter. I'll just wipe that off. Let's try again. Now, let's just see. People are saying, What on earth is she doing all this fussing around for? It's all good fun. Now, let's just see what happens. And then I can go over with my slap it on after I've embossed it. Oh, this might be dreadful. I think it might be okay. There are bits that are kind of stuck here and there. I'll just get rid of this a minute and have a look. A tiny paintbrush. There's a bit there. A bit underneath here. I don't think that matters. I think it might just look attractive. Okay, just get that bit off there. Okay, let's heat set this. 
because these bits were not stuck down completely, there's some um, embossing powder underneath. But I think it's going to be fun. Right, here's some slap it on. Let's just get this stuck down now. Let's put some on here. Oops. Oh, gosh. I've got to be getting some more of this. This is from Indy. Oops. <laughs> That's kind of a lot. This is from Indigo Blue. Um, it's the matte mixed media medium. I'm just going to, there's some embossing powder there that's not melted. I don't know if it will melt through, slap it on. Not sure. Anyway, I'm going to put that on one side for a moment. I'm going to try now to stamp this one over the top. So I need a big block. And we'll try the ground. Uh, actually, I think I'll use Versafine. Not this is Versafine Claire Fallen Leaves. Let's try this one. Might get my head in the way. Sorry about that. Maybe I should have done that embossing over the top of this, but never mind, we'll see. Oh, it's interesting. Let's keep going, let's keep going. I don't, I don't know where we're going with yet, but we'll just keep going and see. I think the next thing I want to do, I think I'll do a little bit of um, um, this stenciling. I will try a bit of my homemade embossing paste. I will put a link to the recipe for this in the description below. I think a lot of people don't actually know about the description below um, videos because often people say, oh, what did you use for so-and-so? And all that information is actually in the description below the, below the video. Let's have a look at this. Oh, that's nice. Now, this is where I thought I would use the Indigo Blue um, Luscious Powder. And the one I've picked is called Gold Cast. And uh, it does have a different effect on different coloured um, bases. Different colour from you know, dark cardstock, black or whatever, to white. So, if I want to put some onto this um, stenciling, this embossing paste, I, if I put it on straight away and try and brush it, I will smudge the paste. If I leave it for that to dry completely, it probably won't stick because it's got nothing to hang on to so much. So I'm going to leave it for a little while and we'll think about a few other bits and pieces. Okay, so here are my two um, seals. Those are quite nice, aren't they? Those could, or one or, or other, perhaps just one of those could go on. I have got this just wondering what to do about this whether to put some tear some little thin strips or something of this um, the way to do that maybe is to wet wet the tissue and then I can tear it let's see if that works I 
I do love tearing things. What have I used that brush for that's going to make it that colour? Can't imagine. Perhaps it was something that was in the pot before. Doesn't matter, it's the right colour anyway. Okay, let me just keep going with this. I wonder if I can do it without wetting. Let's put that away. It's probably a bit easier with this one without without wetting it. I just didn't want a straight a straight line. along there um maybe just one there one up there that might be nice. Um, let's just try a bit of this now. Onto the, I'll take that off for a moment. Just onto the, the embossing paste. Sorry, it's the same sort of colourway as the other one that I did recently, but um, with tea, <laughs> tea bags, I don't know what other colours to go with, really. There we go. Doesn't matter if it sticks anywhere else. Either. Right, put the lid back on there. Give this a little, a little. Look, isn't that beautiful? Look. Goodness me. Right, now I'm going to bring back, where's the other bit? Oh, but there's my two bits of, um, of paper towel. Here's my brush. Let's get, bring back the... Dear. Perhaps I could do it without doing it on the other side. This is a matte finish. This, um, slap it on. Let's try it without a, yeah, that's fine. Now, I want to do some of these stamps, didn't I? Before I go much further. What shall we have? Oh, this one. I'll try to. It might be a bit hectic, this, but it's fairly fine. So maybe it's not too dark. Oh, it is a bit dark. Oh yes, it is a bit dark. So the answer to that one is probably to put a bit of something across it. Let's put that over. I won't use it any more of that because it's just too, too dark altogether. Let's pop this across on the top. Just tone it down a bit. There we go. 
I think it's better than that. Right. Let's see what we're going to do. Now, what colour am I going to use to stamp? Let's try my gold. Where's my Brilliance Gold pad? There it is at the back. Brilliance. I'll try this one. I'm working at about six inches here. This help if you take the cover off. Okay, oh, that's pretty. Now, let me stick one of these on. I'll stick this on with um, a glue dot. One of these things sticks to most things, these. There we go. I think this one was made with a button. It wasn't an actual wax seal. I used a button to make it. Okay, that's that. I think we have a bit more stamping. Um, these are just, you know, random little bitty bits. I think I'll get the rusty, rusty hinge out, which is kind of tea bag colour, really. Is it? Or do I mean tea, tea dye? Let's have a look. Um. Ooh, both of them are a bit hectic, aren't they? How about antique linen? I see what this is like. That's better. We'll have antique linen. Rusty hinge away. Tea dye away. Right, one of these. What should we have? This one looks nice. Just pop it on the block. This is the sort of shape I can just kind of put in here and there, really. Now, I want a feature, um, so I th I'm feeling butterfly or dragonfly to go over here, just there. Well, I looked through my butterflies and um, I just couldn't come across anything that I really liked. I cut it from this glitter card and it's the wrong they're on gold. So I don't know what I've done with my, um, oh, there it is. Got stuck between my, this, uh, there was the thanks, but I think that's going to be a little bit big now. So I've got a, what is it? It's just paper, is it? Um, Justine Hovey um, sentiment. And I've cut the shadow from a piece of tea bag um and i thought we'd pop this somewhere i would actually like to cover cover up that corner because i don't like the end of that stem but it doesn't look kind of the right place to me it looks it's, it's not right so i may just stamp something over that but i think it needs to go kind of somewhere here 
Let me hold it in some tweezers that grab so I can just take a look and see what I think. So, just move it around. I think it's got to go kind of there, really. So I'm going to put that there. So I have, I say, just you put a little gilding wax. This looked a bit too brown, so I've just put a bit of that with my little applicator around the edge there, just to tone that down. So we'll pop something here. It's better. It's just soften that bit that I didn't like. So let's just do this bit here. Right. Can I... Now, like the other card, I think I'm going to put a gold surround and we're done. So it did take us quite a while, didn't it? Now I've got a little bit of, go of um, glue onto the mirror card there. But as before, I will use my old faithful remedy for getting rid of glue, which is a little essential oil. So, I will just put a little drop onto the tip of a Q-tip and just wipe the glue away. And it works wonderfully. And it's gone. There we go. <laughs> Took me a long time, but uh, we got there. We got there in the end. It's a bit different, very similar in some ways to the other one, but I was using a lot of the same things. So, do join me again. I think as of looking this morning, I need about 40 more subscribers to make my 2,000. No, not 2,000. 20,000. 20, so, thank you all so much for your support. I do truly appreciate it and uh, hopefully I'll see you the next time I'm at my craft desk. Thank you so much for watching.